Yeah. All right, welcome back to the South Island channel. And today we're here with? Renzo, 6262 Renzo. So for the people at home who might not know who you are, tell them what you do. I, mean, I make music, that's all I do. Make music, that's what I love to do the most. Oh, for sure. So um, how did you get into making music and where did your name come from? I got into music. I just ain't realized if I've always been into music. Uh, me and my homies used to freestyle. I ain't used to, they always say like, I ain't used to rap on the train, on the way home and shit. Freestyling and shit. I just never did that shit. But one day I just started freestyling with them and shit. They said that shit was deep, so I just start writing that shit coming my head. Every time something come in my head, I write it down. Like, that's just how my process is. But my name, it came from, uh, that's where I'm from, 6362. 6362, South Greenwood. For sure. So, I know you just said that like your process is kind of whatever pop into your head, you like write it down or whatever. But like, is that how you make all your songs? Like, not, do you mainly write or do you sometimes freestyle? Yeah, I do a lot of freestyle. Like, mm -hmm. but like when I go to the studio, like it's different. Like, I don't know how to record music. I ain't been doing it for that long, but I just do it like naturally. I don't force myself to do it mm -hmm. whenever I feel it. I just do it. I be feeling it a lot, so I be getting a lot of shit done. For sure. Sometimes so like, I don't force it. So I don't force it. Yeah, so like what's up on your chest, you just say it, and yeah. if it come out good, you keep it type shit. Yeah. I feel you, I feel but you. But I don't even like drop it. Like, mainly I just, I'm just now starting to drop shit. I just do that shit for, just to, I don't know, just for me. Like, all that shit practice. Mm. Cause I'm, I'm new to this shit. Mm. So about how long have you been making music then? I, I don't know, I've been making music like a year, maybe. A year? But I just started dropping music mm -hmm. recently. Is there like a certain reason why, or like you just felt like, like your stuff was good enough to the point where like, you um, want to put it out? I pay for the stool, get two hours, try to squeeze three songs. Mm -hmm. I listen to like maybe I'll uh, fuck with one out of two, one out of three songs, but. I still wouldn't drop it. I don't know. Like, that shit weird. My homie is a T. Like, I don't be dropping that shit, but I really, I record a lot. I just don't drop. I want a video too. I want to drop my shit right. That's all that shit costs money. Mm -hmm. So you gotta wait if you want to do your shit the right way. Yeah, that's smart. I feel like a lot of artists, especially when coming up, they want to do everything now, now, now. Like, I feel like yeah, I ain't you're rushing. taking, yeah, you're not rushing. Like, you're gonna take your time. You're gonna make sure everything is straight because it's, it's your vision and you're gonna get your vision through. So I, I fuck with that heavy yeah, for yeah. sure trying to perfect that shit. So like, when it comes to like the content of like the music that you make, would you say that's like just based off your lifestyle or like what? I be getting a lot of like lifestyle. Uh, I hear a song, I like it. Like kind of like, try, I don't make it sound like that exact song, but I kind of like get the vibe. Like I listen to a lot of, um, I listen to a lot of Lucky. A lot of, I don't like his like, I don't know, like, I don't try to sound like him, but I love his beats, so I always, like, use his beats. I, always, I don't know, anything, like, I make music, just, if I see it, I don't know, I just make it, like, I don't know how to explain it, it's weird to say. You really just say, like, say you just go off the, the vibe, say how are you like, feeling at the time? I just record whatever, bro, like, right when I train, plus, shit. So, like, a lot of people, the, like a lot of people we interview, they say like music something they've been doing for like a long time type shit, and that's like you know they want to make this like a career. But then, you know, for you, someone who just started off, do you feel like you have that same passion? Because like the way that you like you say how you make music and like your process, it seems like you just like love to do it. Type shit. Uh, make it a career, that's a goal. But like, I, I just want to like get my name out there before I like. I don't know, man. Making a career, yeah, Cause that's really what I love doing. But I know it takes time to do that shit the right way. For sure, having that mindset right now is very important, bro. Cause like, as you as you get up there and following and motherfuckers start listening to your music for real, it's 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 quick to kind of get caught up in call up caught up in it all. So with you just having that laid back type of feel and just having that 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 motive that it takes time is very important, bro. Cause that's how you damn near psych yourself out. Like people, most of the time they're they're so eager to do some shit and don't know what the fuck they doing. So just hey, continue to keep 
keep like waiting and just knowing what you're doing because that shit gonna help you in the long run for sure. Yeah, yeah. What's that? I need to get better with that shit. Though. I don't know. I feel like if I make a career out of it, I gotta do that shit like. I do it like, I don't know, I don't want to be forced, like, feel like I got to drop some shit this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I mean, like, record a lot of shit, just so I can drop a lot of shit. Like, mm -hmm. I got a lot of songs, but not a lot of songs out. Right. And just talking about the songs that you do have, though, like, how do you feel like those was, like, received? Like, and the, the criticism or, like, reviews that you got from those songs, like, kind of affect how you made music going forward? Yeah, like, uh, I don't really like promote it. Like, I really just drop it like SoundCloud, whatever. Then I um, I leave it up there for like maybe a couple couple weeks, just see what it's doing. Like, mm -hmm. but I plan on like dropping it, redrop like the right way. If you yeah. know what I'm saying, like that's just like I don't know how to explain it, but a lot of people they say they fuck with it. It's like I be trying to get as many people to hear. I don't know, but when I get feedback, that definitely helps. Me. I don't like when somebody just like tell me like you gotta tell me what you like. Don't just tell me like tell me what you like about. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you don't like. I don't know. I'm trying to perfect it, bro. Yeah, that's I'm good. Honest, but... no, that's good to like being open to criticism definitely help as like an artist because there's like no way that you gonna make like music for everybody. But then you could also like the feedback from everybody will help you make the best music that you can make at the same time, you feel me? Yeah. So my homies, they, they don't listen to Lucky. They hate Lucky. I don't know. That shit. Like, like you said, everybody likes something. Mm -hmm. It's always gonna be a crowd for you. Yeah. Uh, so just pay you back off, like, you know, how you enjoy Lucky's music and stuff like that. Who are some of like, your biggest influences like when it comes to making music? Or not even just biggest influence. Like, uh, who do you listen to on like a regular basis? <clears throat> Lucky. Uh, I say I listen to a lot of shit. Like uh, anything, bro. Like my OG, she put me on to this once a cup. A lot of old shit. I like a lot of old shit. Like samples. Mm -hmm. like from, when I first started rapping, I was really fucking with the sample beats. Like back eighty sample shit. I like Pink Panther. She was here. I oh, a lot of yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Not a lot of inspiration, but I just like people who, like, I don't know that she, like, she raw as hell. I don't know why I like her. I just, she, her beats raw, uh, lucky, her, I don't know. I can't name, but I really listen to anything, bro. For sure. I don't say anything. Do you see yourself incorporating, like, different genres of music into the music that you make? Or, or will you really just stick to one thing for right now? I want to learn how to do like live instruments, like piano and shit, drums and shit. The main I'm, right now, I'm gonna stick to the, the rap till I get like I don't even got all the rap master, so I can yeah. I can still learn something else, but I gotta get the rap first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and are you like a fan of collaboration? Yeah, I try to like I want to work with anybody, bro, especially in the city, bro. Like, I feel like in the right, it's no love, bro. Like we all, everybody make music, nobody work together. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's love, but like it's, it's just distant. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fake too. Cause then, like when you first start off making music, nobody really like there, you know. Then like you get a little name for yourself. Now everybody wanna collab with you. Cool. I don't really got a name for myself. I'm just saying, like that's just how that shit go. But that's why I'm trying to work now, cause like, I don't know. I want to just if you sound good, bro, we can we can make a song. No, who are some artists that you would, like from the city that you would like want to collaborate with? Mm, I got this one homie. His name Lonnie on SoundCloud. Lonnie the Don. He wrote us hell. I went to school with him. We gotta get into school. Uh, I got I don't know like nobody off the top, bro. I'm open. That's all I can say. For sure. For sure. Uh, bring it back to like the whole. The, uh, oh, Clancy. 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 We got some shit. For sure. Really cool. I forgot about that. For shit. sure. Um, bring it back to like you said. You fuck with the samples, the samples of the music, and your and your OG put you on like certain old songs. Do you feel like that helps your appreciation for music as a yeah. whole? Because 
I always get flashbacks and shit. I'd be like, damn. I remember I was a shorty. I was like first grade, bro. I had a droid. I don't know what it was. It was an iPhone. I ain't had no like online on my phone, so I would chill, play the radio. The radio always on in the house, so I I hear a song. I like record the song because I can't go look it up when I'm outside. Just record it just to have that shit. I don't know, but I never rapped though. I just started rapping, but I just knew like, I always had a love for music. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, none of the songs that you've released so far, like which one would you say is like your best one? I'll say my favorite one is probably Suicidal Thoughts, because that was like some different shit. I don't know, but the one a lot of people fuck with, Taco Tuesday. Uh, but I'll say, I don't know, my favorite song to like his is Suicidal Thoughts. I got this one song, it's Me, Myself, and I. I recorded it, but I don't like how it sound, but I know that's like my favorite song, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I got to re-record it. That shit was rushed. So, yeah, so like, when you go into like the studio, like recording these songs, like you you go with songs like already like written and, and like you already know what you're gonna do. All right. Okay. I just start um, like being my homies and shit back from college and shit. We'll go grab a stool. Everybody putting on for the stool, so everybody right. gotta get their time. Oh, time I just so in times like those, I just like freestyle. But if I'm going in, I like set myself. Mm -hmm. I already got the songs and the beats. That they already done because you can't waste time on stool. Yeah. So what's like the headspace like you have when you're like creating in terms of like writing your music out? Like, do you have to like? Is it, is it like a certain time at night or something like that you have yeah, to write? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I just make that shit, bro. Like, on some real shit. It's kind of just like My whatever comes to you. She always used to do like. I, a lot of times, like, I go in the bathroom, smoke, write some shit, listen to beat. I don't know why, like, no weird shit, the bathroom, like, that's just well, a lot of my shit. I just be just in the bathroom for no noise, no, just just listen to that shit. I do that shit anyway, but, like, my OG shit take, like, I just spend hours in the bathroom, <laughs> no weird shit. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where it comes to weird cause shit. I feel you. Man, everybody got their process, bro. Everybody processes you. you I'm just you not know. starting to like make shit outside. Mm -hmm. If I'm around some shit, I just. But if that shit come to me in my head, bro, like, I just write it down. Bro. I'm just about to make shit outside. I don't know, but I gotta be like. Another one. I can't make shit when it's like. A lot of. I gotta be like. Really by myself. Okay. Actually, I don't know how to explain it. I just gotta be by myself. And so, like, do you see yourself being able to go into the studio, like, when you are with your friends and, like, still being able to freestyle and be able to make a song that you like and would want to drop? Or would that, like, hinder your process? I just, uh, I don't know. Like, I just did it the other day. Went in there freestyle some shit. It was all right, but it's like, I, I don't know. Bro. It's not, it's not 100%. I don't know how to explain it, bro. That shit sound lame, bro, but that shit not right. Like, that okay. shit gotta be right. You'd rather put your 100% in and just fuck around freestyling. You'd rather, like, write something and put your yeah. full effort into it. Because then you're going to play that bitch. You're going to, I don't know, I could have said this. Mm -hmm. I could have said that. So, like, would you say that you don't like to rush things, but at the same time, like, when you're making something, you, like, you're almost a perfectionist with it? Yeah, like... I remember I first start writing shit, I looked it up, like, how long do it take per to make that, like, the average song? Right. You can't really go off that shit. Like, at all. I used to think I'm taking too long, like, the song should have been done, but you just gotta do that shit, like, when you feel it. But certain, I do, like, push myself sometimes, like, because I do be lazy a lot. Yeah. So you gotta, you can't be lazy, but you can't be, like, over-aggressive either. Exactly, especially... You know, if you consider making music your craft, you know, you always got to be constantly working on it if you want to get to that point. Yeah, you can't just not do it at all. I always do it, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but basically what you said. Okay. 
So, do you have any um, uh, upcoming music coming out anytime soon or anything like that? Yeah, I got, um, I can't tell you when, but the next song I'm dropping is going to be a video. So, I'm trying to get a full shoot. I don't know if I'm up there. I just kind of work on with like local people that shoot my shit too. But the next thing I drop is going to be a video. It's not going to be like audio, it'll be a movie. Cool. Yes.